Hey guys, Andrew here. I want to make a quick talk about whole brain power, bouncing a golf ball on a hammer. Nathan Thompson does this in a video, and I've, had, I've seen a few responses, both on the comment section and through video responses, that this is stupid, because Nathan Thompson is an absolute moron idiot talking about flat earth while bouncing golf balls. So people say, Nathan's stupid, flat earth is stupid, therefore bouncing golf ball on a hammer is stupid. I even saw the fight the flat earth debate where the guy said, oh, you're bouncing up on a hammer, you're stupid. You know, this takes incredible amounts of skill. And I don't want to take that away from Nathan. Nathan has done amazing things in the program. That's how I met him. The program teaches ambidexterity. It teaches speaking more eloquently using larger words and complete sentences. Uh, various hand-eye coordination exercises, such as bouncing a golf ball on a hammer, writing with your right and left hand, mirror image and straight. So Nathan Thompson has done these things, but I think because of the skills he's acquired, he's using them to serve Satan. He's using them to deceive people and be a cult leader. Whole Brain Power is a legitimate workout, legitimate brain training. You bounce a golf ball on a hammer, it takes incredible amounts of spatial reasoning and fine motor control. Nathan Thompson is an idiot, but he does not represent Whole Brain Power. He, just, he is not the founder. The founder, Michael Lavery, probably doesn't appreciate this guy going around talking about Flat Earth and promoting his program at the same time. So Nathan Thompson likes to recite nonsense while he does this. You know, water doesn't care, there's no pictures. Shut up, Nathan, there are pictures from space. Flat Earthers conveniently ignore all the evidence that goes against their theories. Okay, so let's do, let's do some of our own. How about the fact that you can see planets with a telescope that are not out of focus blobs that you see with a Nikon P900? You can get a telescope and see those wandering stars, that's what the ancients called them because they zipped across the sky in weird ways. They're planets. You can see them with your own telescope. I have friends that I could show right here on Facebook that have seen Jupiter, that have pictures of Jupiter and Saturn with their telescope. Um, the fact that water does curve because Earth is a giant mass and things go inwards to the center of mass, so mass attracts mass. These small pieces of mass are attracted to the larger giant Earth that explains it. The fact that water does curve, the Earth is 25,000 miles or so in circumference. So, of course, a five foot tall human is not going to see curvature in his 40 mile field of vision over a lake. That's stupid. Um, let's go back to whole brain power. So, whole brain power is a legitimate workout. Nathan Thompson does not represent whole brain power. Nathan Thompson is an idiot. And the whole brain power community does not accept flat Earth. Okay, so I encourage you guys to get a rubber, rubber mallet or even a sledgehammer, bounce one, catch, bounce twice, catch, bounce three times, catch, and then just keep going, do a couple runs. And then while you're doing this, you can recite pi 3.14159265359793238484. Nathan Thompson can do that as well. Um, but it's not stupid. Bouncing golf on a hammer is not stupid. So Nathan, stop bad mouthing flat earth. Okay. Let's see another thing then. Nathan Thompson is an absolute idiot. He's on a power trip, blocking and muting people on his group left and right. If you have to block free speech, it's for a reason. It's probably because you're full of shit.